Hey guys, what's up? Friends, welcome to Siko Siko YouTube channel. Hey guys, how are you? Guys, in this video we will discuss about the pollination and what are the various types of pollination and how pollination takes place and what are the various factors which are responsible for the pollinations. Friends, as all of you know that the male part of plant is known as anther no, no, no. The part of plant which contains this pollen gland is anther. It's the filament and overall part is known as stamen. Stamen is the male part of plant, and this is the female part of plant, known as pistil. And I have told you about the various three parts: stigma, style, ovary. This is ovary. Its style its stigma okay guys I, as you know the for the fertilization to take place the male gametes should reach to, to the female gametes but how will how it takes place okay guys and it takes place through pollination that's why guys we can summarize that pollination is the method pollination is the method of transfer of pollen grains means it's a transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma means guys you can have a look at it suppose it's an anther having pollen grains Okay, guys. It's it's the male part. It's female part. The process of transmission of the pollen grains from anther to stigma is referred as pollination. It's this process is pollination. The process by which the pollen grains are being transferred from anther to the stigma. Its process is pollination. Okay, guys. Let's discuss about the various methods of pollination and various types of pollination. Okay guys, let's discuss about the types of pollination. Types. Guys, there are the two types of pollination. Uh, one is self-pollination and another one is cross-pollination. Self-pollination. self pollination and another is cross pollination okay guys let's discuss about one each type one by one first as the word suggests self pollination what is self pollination as the word says the pollination which takes place inside the same flower means suppose there is a bisexual flower self pollination generally occurs in bisexual flowers first understand the bisexual flowers bisexual flowers are the flowers which have both both male and female parts Guys, it's not necessary that every flower have male and female parts in this. Means you can see that some pl some flowers has the only male parts, some has only female parts, and there are few flowers which have both male and female parts. Uh, so, friends, the self pollination is the process which only takes place in the bisexual fl flowers because because as the word states that pollination which takes place inside only one flower when suppose it's a flower suppose guys it's a flower okay then it's the female part of flower suppose these are the 
मेल पार्ट्स स्टेमल्स तो गाइज If the pollen grains are being transferred from the anther of same flower to the stigma of same flower, this process is known as self-pollination. These are the anthers of the same flower. It's a bisexual flower. It's a bisexual flower. Means this flower has the both male and female part in in same. Then the transfer of the pollen grains from the anther of same flower to the stigma of same flower is known as self pollination this process is known as self pollination guys there are the various there are it's this kind of pollination doesn't spot evolution or you can say that variations doesn't take in doesn't take place in self pollination because guys same traits are being transferred same traits carried out by generations means there are no variations less chances of variations because guys it's the same flower same characteristics will be transferred or same properties will be transferred from one generation to another that's why it's self pollination okay guys let's discuss about the cross pollination the second method of pollination is cross pollination guys as the word suggests cross cross means one to another means it's a process in which the pollen grains transfer from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower suppose guys this is a flower and it's in another flower it's an guys it's not necessary that the flower if the flower is unisexual then only the cross pollination takes place there are the various parameters which are responsible for the cross pollination and it's in another flower suppose it's only unisexual flower and having only female part okay guys it's a bisexual flower and this is monosexual or you can say unisexual flower it only has female part then the cross pollination is the process of the transmission of pollen grains from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower is known as cross pollination the transfer of pollen grains transfer of pollen grains from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower guys there it is should be noted that here the transferring takes place from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower it's cross pollination anther of one flower to stigma of another flower okay guys um, um let's understand by another example guys suppose it's a flower it's a female flower okay guys suppose it's a female flower and there is another flower it's only male part it's a male flower it's only contain male parts okay guys if the pollen grains are being transferred from anther to stigma of one flower to another it's 
one flower is another flower and the pollen grains are transferred from anther to stigma of one flower to another it's, it, it is referred as the cross pollination guys there are various advantages of cross pollination benefits of cross pollination let's have a look cross pollination leads to formation of new species because the why guys new species because the one flower has one kind of properties one kind of traits and another flower has another kind of traits both are crossing both are taking both are being fertilized means the egg of one flower is fertilized by the pollens of another flower or you can say that the male gamete of another flower that's why the new generation which is coming is modified formation of new species cross pollination leads to the formation of new species various modifications takes place various modifications occurs suppose guys you can take an example that if there is a red flower flower having red petals and there is a flower having white petals if we are crossing both then we may get a flower we may get a flower having pink color okay guys that's why I'm saying that the cross pollination is advanced method and it leads to the variations and it give birth to the new species okay guys I have just discuss about the pollination and the basic of pollinations i hope you have understood this if you have understood please like my video share and if you have any doubt or if you want to give any kind of suggestion please suggest me in the comment box or if you have any kind of query please comment and if you like the videos please subscribe and help others you uh, so that they can even enhance their knowledge thanks Hey guys, I hope you have liked the videos. If you have liked, please thumbs up, please comment, please share and if you need more such videos, please subscribe my channel. Thanks.